Are these all facing the right direction? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. I'm so glad to have you guys here today. My video is a really big Sephora and Ulta haul. So, explanations. 2023 was a no buy makeup year for me. And so I didn't have like all 2023, I didn't have any haul videos pretty much because I wasn't doing any makeup buying. So this year <laughs> I have, I bought some makeup. Do I need to rein it in? Yes, already. But here we go. I'm going to show you what I got from both the Ulta it used to be called the 21 Days of Beauty event. It's now, it, they changed it to the Ulta, I think, semi-annual sale. And they, so what happens during that sale is that they put random beauty products on sale for 50% off. And it's actually a pretty good sale. Like, as long as the things that are 50% off are things that you actually want, which they usually are. And this year they added hair products, which I thought was pretty cool. So I have things from Ulta that I got during that sale. And also because Sephora won't, doesn't want to be left out. Sephora, if it's, if that same product is sold at Sephora, they'll put it half off on Sephora. So I do think I do have things from Sephora that I got. Anyways, it's, it's just, Sephora and Ulta, I got it from Sephora and Ulta. And then, right now, going on right now, and I think this video will go up during the sale, the Sephora semi-annual VIB savings event is happening. And the Ulta sale is much better than the Sephora sale. The Sephora sale is only, for me, I'm a rouge, and I still, okay, I'm still a rouge, okay? Yeah, last year, 2023 was a no by year, and yet I'm still a rouge, yes I know. <sighs> it's because I still bought a lot of like hair products and lotions and um, and I still had my husband buy me stuff for the sale. It's a problem. I'm a shopaholic. Anyways, um, cool, 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 cool. I just, I want to say though that I didn't get rouge until like December. So I was, I was slightly proud of that. It took me the entire year to get there. I shouldn't be proud of it, but there we go. Anyways, because I'm still a rouge, I get 20% off from Sephora. And which is, it's really not that great of a sale. It really isn't. I mean, there are benefits to it that you don't have to shop at all of these individual sites to get things from, from Charlotte Tilbury, from Fenty, from <sighs> Tom Ford, from, you know, a million different brands. You can get them all at Sephora for 20% off, but... A lot of the time, like I believe Fenty is having like 25% off of their brand right now. And like Pat McGrath always <laughs> has like monthly sales that are, are 30 or more percent off. So this sale is not even really the greatest sale. It's just kind of convenient, I guess. And if you are only an insider, it's, it's convenient. It's not really that great of a sale because you only get 10% off. So if there's something you want, from Sephora, this would be the time to get it. It's not like, oh, stock up, unless it's something you really want. Oh, anyways, whew, long intro, that's that's me. I am really close to a 1,000 subscribers, so if you want to subscribe to my channel, I would love that. That would make me so happy. I have been doing this channel for three years, and I haven't gotten to a 1,000 subscribers, so if I, if I could do that, that would just be amazing. You would make me so happy, so please subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Come follow me on Instagram. It's also Bianca Skogan Beauty. I've already done my makeup, so I'm not gonna be putting on this makeup right now because I've already done it. The eyeshadow palette that I'm wearing today is from Simply Posh Cosmetics. It's the Fairy Tale Fairies palette. So I am going kind of more pastel because it's springtime, it's April. Ooh, sorry about that, sorry about blinding you guys. So I'm wearing more of a pastel-y kind of look. Anyways, let's show you guys the boxes. You've already seen it because it's probably my thumbnail. Are these all facing the right direction? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I have a problem. Yep. Okay. Admittedly, though, sometimes they send you a really big box and, like, one item in here. So, you know, that that's my excuse. 
I feel like the Ulta one's a little bit more confusing to go through because I'm going to go like day by day, day by day what I bought. Not, I'm not going through like on this day they had these products because you guys don't care. I mean, the sale's over. But on March 9th, I bought two things. I bought the NARS Soft Matte Concealer and I bought the Fenty Matchsticks. So these are two things that were already on my wish list, my Ulta wish list. And so then they were 50% off and I was like, yes, they were already on my wish list. They were th things that I have already, actually, I have wanted this soft matte concealer for a really, really, really long time. One of my first high-end concealers was a NARS concealer. It was, it was not the pot one like this one is, but it was just one, <laughs> like a fluid one. The stick ones, oh my gosh, that was weird. Anyways, um, and I completely used it up. I used, it was a mini size, but I used it up and I loved it. So to get this one, I was really excited. I got it in the shade um, Creme Brulee and I'm really excited about it. I hear that these ones are really good for like covering up blemishes. Um, they're not, because it's in this like cream, it's not as good for under the eyes, but it's really good for blemishes. And so I got a color that was more my skin tone than like lighter. Cause I like it to be lighter when I'm cut going my dark circles. And so I got more my skin color to get like, I get a lot of blemishes around my nose. So that was the intention for around my nose. And then I got this Fenty matchstick. Okay. Around my birthday last year. I was on the hunt for this matchstick everywhere and it was sold out at every single Ulta, at every Ulta I went to and okay, <laughs> you might be like you were on a no buy last year. Yes, but my husband will take me to Ulta on my birthday and let me buy things because I usually get my Ulta birthday gift. Okay, I know it's a, it's kind of a way to go around my rules, but whatever. So I wanted it and I couldn't find it anywhere. It was sold out everywhere. And now <laughs> I got it and I got it for half off. It is the one, it's bright, right? It is the one that, that, that is pH. Okay. So you might be like, these are, these are everywhere. You can get pH changing like blushes and lipsticks everywhere. And yes, that's true. But they had the samplers of this and this is the only one that like I would put on my hand and it actually reacted and like turned pink. Whereas the other ones I would put on my hand, it would do nothing. It would only do it like over foundation, which I thought was so weird. This is the only one that actually like did anything over my hand. So I was like, that is like real. It really works. It was, and I love Fenty. So and I could get it for half off. And I've been wanting this for months, like 10 months now. Wait, seven months. So anyways, I'm just excited to have it. So I got those for half off. So I got the Fenty one for 16 and the NARS one for 16 also. So pretty good deals. The next day, March 10th, for some reason I chose to go through Sephora and not Ulta. I don't know why it's been a month. Like literally it is April 10th right now. I don't know. Maybe Ulta was sold out and Sephora wasn't. No idea. But I got the Olaplex number six and I got the First Aid Beauty Ingrown Hair Pads. Pretty excited about it. I use these every single time after I shave and I use this on my hair because I have really long, thick hair. And so treat my hair. Anyways, this was $15. It's normally 30 and this was, this is normally $36, which I feel like is ridiculous. I mean, this is like the, the biggest size. It's, it's 60 pads, but I feel like that's really expensive. It, it does work well, but I mean, really expensive. So I got it for 18. I was really glad to get, to get this half off. Both of them half off. Pretty glad about it. The next day I shopped this sale was I skipped March 11th for some reason. I guess there was nothing that day that I wanted. March 12th, there was another first aid beauty product on the sale. This is the first aid beauty. I just said it, the KP bump eraser. So I have KP keratosis pilaris on my arms. It's those bumps on my arms. And this stuff usually smells pretty bad. <laughs> it's because it has like, I think it's urea in it too, and, and acids in it that are supposed to help with those bumps. And so this one smells like strawberry. Like I have the one that is, un, I think it's unscented and it, it's fine. It, it, it's fine. I, I usually put 
another lotion on the rest of my body and so it's fine that it doesn't smell that great but to have one that was strawberry smelled I was so excited because you know having something that smells gross on your body is not fun anyway so I was excited to have one that strawberry smelled and I got that for $15 so it's originally 30 and I'm glad I'm glad to have something that helps with my KP then about face had stuff for sale and I about face like is a team player they always have stuff for sale like during I haven't mentioned it yet but right now <laughs> Sephora and Ulta are, are direct competitors so right now during the Sephora VIB sale Sephora Ulta is having a a spring sale where they have like their Ulta stuff is 50% off but they have like random brands that are like 30 40 20 random brands throughout their their store are random percentages off so and right now about face is is a random percentage off right now I was I wasn't shopping I wasn't I was window browsing anyway <laughs> today do I need more stuff no I don't anyways I just feel like about face is really cool because they they you can get stuff on sale all the time so don't pay full price for about face specifically anyways I got some stuff I that I think during the the semi-annual sale they had it was the like the the lips and the eyes that was on sale I don't know it wasn't I know for sure that it wasn't the foundation because the foundation was brand new um but the foundation is on sale right now anyways anyways I'm getting into the weeds like I always do so I got two eyeliners because I like these um like pencil eyeliners to put in my waterline right now you can't you can see that I'm wearing something in my waterline, but it's mint. I don't see, I feel like you can't really tell that it's mint, but I like to do colorful waterline pencils. So I, I was excited to get for half off, right? And then I got a fractal eye paint and this one is glittery. You know what? I'm going to swatch it because I'm excited to. It's kind of a teal color and whenever I don't like pure blue and I don't like pure green very much, but teal is that sweet spot that I really like. So let's see, there's that blush. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, yes, that's so fun. I love that. It's in the shade Fractal. Oh, that's so much fun. Yay, I love that. Then I also got a shadow fix. It's like an eyeshadow primer and you can never have too many eyeshadow primers. I love eyeshadow primers. I wear them every single time because I just feel like they make my eyeshadows stay on longer because I have a confession. I, <laughs> it's, a, it's not a good one. Um, there are times when I go to bed with my eyeshadow on and my makeup on because, because it happens. Okay. It, it just does. It's not a good thing. And <laughs> there was this one time that I put eyeshadow primer on the one eye and not on the other eye. I don't know why it wasn't an experiment. It just happened. And I woke up the next morning because I hadn't washed my face and one eye was completely and it's not because I just slept on the one eye because I completely toss and turn I sleep on both sides anyways one eye had zero makeup on it and the other eye had completely had tons of makeup on it and I was like oh look at that eyeshadow primer anyway sorry I'm getting into the weeds <laughs> so the shadow fix what is it shadow fix yeah was 650 so originally 13 and then the these were these eye pencils were six six fifty so also 13 because ColourPop has really good that's the one that I'm wearing in my eye line right now is a ColourPop one and the ColourPop ones are really good also so I feel like I wouldn't have paid 13 dollars because the ColourPop ones are nine eight seven I don't know I don't have that information anyways <laughs> This fractal eye paint was $8, so originally $16, and yeah, so did pretty good, pretty good. I like to get things for half off. I skipped a lot of days because the last day I had chopped was the 12th, so I skipped a whole week, and I went till the 19th. So March 19th, there was a, from Jane Iredell, which is a brand I've never bought from before, so I was intrigued. I was intrigued. There was a lot of good reviews from this, and it is a lip and cheek stain. And I was like, hmm, my lips are very, very dry. My my face is really dry. I'm, I, I'm dry. <laughs> I have dry skin, I have dry lips. Anyways, so I was like, that sounds intriguing, and it was $16, so originally $32, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's a really expensive lip 
dang. So getting it for half off, I was like, that's intriguing. Let's, and everything, if you get free shipping, you get free shipping if you get, to, okay, maybe it's because I'm whatever rank I am in at, at Ulta, but if you buy one of the, the things that is on sale that day, you get free shipping. So it's not, it's not hard to tempt me to buy things. Anyways, I, I did go a week without buying anything. Okay. Mm, trying to toot my own horn and it's not working. Okay. So here we go. It's kind of little, but all right, let's see if this is worth $16. Okay. Here is the other stain. And here's the one from Jane Iredell. And it doesn't look like anything is showing up. See, that's what I was talking about. When I put on the stains before on my hand, nothing would show up. But if I put them like on my lips or on my foundation, they would show up. And I thought that like, what is it in the foundation that causes that chemical reaction? Because it's supposed to be your pH that causes the, the chemical reaction. And there's pH in my hand. So anyways, is this worth $16? Time will tell. At this moment in time, no. But time will tell. It could just be a really, really, really moisturizing lip balm at this point. And so it will be, but <laughs> who knows. The next day, March 20th, I was swind I swindled myself into buying another thing. Beekman 1802. Okay, so this is like there's two layers here. It is a hyaluronic acid and swallowing, squalling facial toner mist. Okay, so my husband got me this for Valentine's Day. I put this on my Amazon wish list because I heard a content creator talking about it. Was it Morgan Turner? She was talking about this. It's from Da Alba, and she was like, "This is so good! It's so amazing, and it's really cheap." And I was like, "Okay, I'll put it on my Amazon wish list." And he ended up buying it for me because he goes through my Amazon wish list. And I was like, "What did you buy me?" I was so confused when he bought it for me because I forgot I put it on my Amazon wish list. And look at it! Look how much it's gone. It is April. He got me this for Valentine's Day, and it is so gone. So I think for two reasons. For two reasons, it's gone. Like I use it a lot. I have really dry skin, and it, it moisturizes the heck out of my skin. But also, it's just easy to like. It's a truffle spray. So, anyways, double layer serum enriched white truffle from Italy. Anyways, it's easy to use a lot of this for some reason. Anyways, so I was like, hey, I think this is probably a very similar product, and I'm almost done with this one. Let's get more. <laughs> you know what I mean? This one says nothing about truffle but it does say prebiotic. And are they not, are they not similar? You shake them up. Anyways, so I thought I should get another one because I, I really like it. Anyways, that one was $18. It was originally 36. So I was excited to, to have that because wow, that is, this is eight ounces. This one is 3.38 ounces. So more than double. Cool. I'm excited to have it. Yay. Again on the 20th. Really weird. But Sephora likes to copy Ulta, right? And they, it's weird because most of the time they just do the stuff from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty semi-annual sale and they do the stuff that they sell because they don't have exactly the same products. They have a lot of products that, that cross over but not the same. Anyway, so they do the crossover products and they put them at 50% off. But sometimes they just do random Sephora products, 50% off too. So I was looking, I look at both because I do that. I'm a night owl and I'm up till like two in the morning. It's just what I do. And so at like two in the morning, I'm looking at Ulta and Sephora. Anyways, um, <laughs> so I was looking at Sephora and I saw that this foundation, sorry, it is bright. This foundation that has been in my wish list for a long time right now, or previously a long time, was on sale for 50% off. It is the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. So not a foundation, a skin tint. Anyways, I had the Beauty Blender Original Foundation. I really liked it. I think I got it in the wrong shade, but I ended up eventually getting rid of it only because I had had it for too long and I got the wrong shade. It was way too light for me. But... I liked it. I really did. And I have found out that I, through this channel, through doing makeup for 38 years, well, no. Okay, I am 38, but I haven't been doing makeup for 38 years because, you know, I didn't do it as a toddler. Anyways, um, 
mask. So I found out <laughs> doing my makeup that I really like a very, very thin, natural foundation. And I have heard that this is a very nice foundation, skin tint. And so this was in my wish list. And unfortunately, I might have the same problem than I had before because the shade that I wanted was sold out. And so, but I didn't let that stop me, which is probably a bad thing. Shopaholic right here. So this is a $30 skin tint and I got it for $14.50. I was, I was going to pick it up during the semi, the Sephora semi-annual sale. So getting it half off was like win-win. Anyways, I got it in the shade light two, which I think light three was the shade I was going to get. Anyways, it doesn't say it on the box, but it said it on the website that it is a flexible formula because it's like a light, it says light to medium coverage, but that it can fit like, I don't even think it has that many shades because it's such a light formula that it should be able to flex and fit more shades, supposedly. So I was like, mm, maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe I'll be able to, to make this light one work. Especially right now, it is April, and I am still a ghost. <laughs> I still am, it's freezing outside. I'm wearing a sweater because it just snowed the other day. Thank you, Utah. Anyways, it's still freezing here. And so I'm still being a little bear inside of my cave and hibernating. Oh my gosh, I just want to let you guys know this is so hard to get out. Anyways, and so I don't go out very often and thus I am still very pale. It's light. It's still light. That's okay though. I think it'll be fine. I think, right? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm like, should I pick up the shade three at the semi-annual sale and then mix them together? Um, anyways, the shopaholic is getting a, a problem with me. And the little, the little demon inside my head that says, buy more, buy more, is, is talking to me right now. Anyways, what else did I get that day? I got the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Okay, I love a, an eyeliner. I love an eyeliner. I love to wear an eyeliner. Anyways, did I say that six times? It's fine. So I hear that the Stila eyeliners are amazing. They are just really, really, really great. So got this for half off. It was $12. I feel like a $12 amazing eyeliner. Can you beat that? So then I skipped a couple of days and on the 25th, I shopped at Ulta again and I got the Urban Decay Hydromaniac Dewy Liquid Blush. Okay, so I was like, I saw when these came out, I was very intrigued, but I didn't get them because I don't like paying full price for anything. I really don't. <laughs> if I can get it for sale, I do. So when I finally saw that these were half off, I was like, well, yes, yes, I will get these. Also, the Hydromaniac Foundation is one of my favorite foundations. I think in maybe like 2021, it was my favorite foundation, like on this channel. So Hydromaniac found, you know, this, 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 it's, it's a Hydromaniac, you know, brand, whatever. Okay, cool, cool. Anyways, I got in the shade Unhinged, which makes sense because it's kind of a berry shade and I really like purple. Can you tell? I actually did like a purpley kind of green. It's a duo chrome. You can't see the green, but it is green in real life. Anyways, so purple. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. And it is, I got it for $12. $12 for a blush, for a high-end blush. This sale, I, well, the thing I love about the sale is it makes high-end products drugstore pr prices, which is just my favorite. I love that. So the last thing that I got from the Ulta semi-annual sale was on the 28th of March, and I got more blush. I don't need more blush. Get that through your head, Bianca. You don't need more blush. I got two. <laughs> Anyways, I got from Persona. I love this brand. This is a great brand. They make really good blushes. And so I got two blushes. And they are in the, sh let's see. They're originally $22, which is a really good price anyways to begin with. And so I got them for $11. Again, we're getting blush for high-end blush for drugstore prices. Okay, I got the shade Jam and Georgia. So another berry blush because that is, that's my jam. Oh my gosh. 
Ah, I had to. I had to. Do they have mom jokes? Because I know they have dad jokes, but that was definitely a mom joke. You're welcome. I'm going to have to tell my kids it. They're not going to think it's funny, but that's okay. There's jam. It's a really pretty pinky, purpley color. I like it. It's kind of similar to what I have on right now. Anyways, then we have Georgia. Georgia peach. And, ooh, it's, it's more pink than I thought it would be. It looks orange on here, but it, it looks peach here. Anyways, I'm glad because, look, yeah, see? It's more peach, pink, than it is on the box. And I'm glad for that because I have a, I think, I think I have a cool undertone. Do I know what undertone I am? No. Anyways, so I'm glad it's more cool tone. Okay, that is all I got from Ulta slash Sephora for the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty slash semi-annual sale. All right, let's show you what I got from Sephora for the, this is hard to keep track. The Sephora semi-annual, what do they call it? Savings event, VIB sale. It's not the holiday savings event. It's the spring savings event, I think. I'll have that in my description box slash. It'll be in the title. The Sephora VIB savings event, spring savings event started on April 5th for me as a rouge. Did I, because I'm a night owl, make my shopping trip at midnight on, on, on the 5th? Yes, I did. I had been planning my cart for weeks, um, days, days. I had contemplating doing a video, like talking about, hey, what should I do for, you know, I, a, a preparation, like what should you guys put in your cart? What am I gonna put in my cart? But I felt like it would just be white noise because everybody else did one of those videos. So anyways, I didn't, <laughs> but I thought it would still would be fun for you guys to see what I actually got. So here we go. This is what I actually got. I think all most of this was stuff that has been on my wish list. Some of this was new stuff. And so that's fun and exciting to get because they're new. They are new products that came out. But a lot of this has, is stuff that's been on my wish list, sitting on my wish list, and I've been sitting there just wanting it. And when, when it's things that you've been wanting and you can get them on sale, like that is something that I did learn from my, my year of no buying is try to, to wait for something that you want it to be on your wish list and for it to be on sale and combine that happiness together. Let's start at the lowest to the highest if I can do that, if I can. So the, I got this, this is a, I was going to say a jade roller, but it's actually rose. It's a rose quartz roller. This is from the Sephora collection. So anything from the Sephora collection is 30% off anybody. <laughs> actually it's fine. You can start on the 5th, I think, I feel like they do tell you that, but I still feel like it's confusing. But anybody, Insider, VIB, Rouge, then start shopping for Sephora stuff on the 5th and get 30% off. And I don't really like a ton of Sephora stuff, but I usually try to get one or two things from Sephora because there's some good stuff. Anyways, my <laughs> jade roller, I had a jade roller that I used to do like lymphatic massage on my face, broke, it broke in half. I was just using it and I, it just went, and I went, what? And so I've been in the market to get myself another one, which is so funny because I feel like in every other subscription box, I was getting a jade roller. And so I gave them to friends and family. And then when I actually needed one, I didn't have one, right? Isn't that just the way it is? Um, anyways, so I got this one. It was already half off from Sephora. It was originally 18 and then it was $9 because it was half off and then I got it 30% off. So cool. Cool. I was, I was excited to get, and I didn't get Jade. They did have a Jade, but I was like, my Jade broke. So let's try a different stone. They had a blue one that said it was depuffing, but it was, it was gone. It was sold out. You know what I hate when they actually have it like, like in the sales section and you click on it and then it goes to like, this is no longer, like, it'll be like this page doesn't exist. And I'm like, then get rid of the, the, the little icon. Like if it doesn't exist, why are you showing me and getting my hopes up? Do you guys ever feel that way? Is that just me? Okay, cool. <laughs> the next ex more expensive thing is lashes. Okay. 
this is really weird. My husband's going to watch this and go, what? Why did you buy lashes? Okay. It is weird. It is weird that I bought lashes. I don't wear fake eyelashes because they scare me. <laughs> because I haven't figured out how to put them on yet. But I hear that, that that's just me and then I need to get over it. Um, I have tried the magnetic ones with the, the magnetic liner and, and, and I hear that that's my problem, that those ones are hard. And I, I heard that those were easier and that was my problem. And so I need to just get over it and do actual lashes that are, you know, with the glue. So like there are, there are our 12 year old girls that are wearing lashes and they make it look easy. And I'm like, Bianca, you are 38. You can do this. If these 12 year old girls can do it, you can do it. Okay, cool. Um, anyways, these were half off already and they're a brown blended. So I felt like they could be already kind of natural. They were a faux mink. And so I just thought it, it, they say they're every day. I just thought that they could be fun. Like they could be nice. They could be pretty. I could wear them for like family pictures or something like that and they could look nice. Maybe I could do a video of me. I need to do more shorts because that is where the world is and maybe I could do a short with me trying to put them on. I don't know. I don't know. I'm saying a lot of things but anyways those were $10 and then 20% off so yay. Okay, the next thing in expensive. Okay, so it went from like ten, nine to ten dollars to like twenty four dollars. I bought, I bought some, some pricey things this time. Let me just tell you. Okay, twenty one dollars is the next most expensive thing. I, I I really actually I bought some pricey pricey things this time. I just. I wanted these things and so I was like, I might as well get a good discount with it, right? Okay, so I got another Fenty item. Not half off like in the Ulta sale, but that's fine. I have been wanting this. This is the Gloss Bomb in Fuchsia Flex. I've been wanting this for so long. Okay, we're putting it on. We're putting it on. Will it look good with this look? I don't care. <laughs> it's going to be great. Oh, yes. Ooh, it smells good too. Look how pretty and shiny that is. Okay, so like glittery, like matte lips have not come back into style, but glittery lip glosses have, and I'm totally here for it. Look how pretty that is. Okay, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. The next thing I got, this was a new product that I'm excited about. I ha have no idea of this, how this is going to be. So the bronzy, right? The drunk elephant, the bronzy drops have taken over the world right now. And I I'm sure in a couple months, they'll n not be the new trend, but right now they're the trend. And so everybody's trying to dupe them and do whatever, do them. Right. And so I love paradise as tried to do it as well. This is the Sunny Serum Instant Face Bronzer. Well, the DeBronzy drops are like 30 something dollars because Drunk Elephant's expensive. Also, they have some by, oh, Glow Recipe has come out with these, these bronzing drops. Also, I'm just gonna write in bronzing drops. Okay, Iconic London has come out with bronzing drops. So the Drunk Elephant ones are $38. The Glow Recipe ones are $35. The Say one, so Say has come out with them, $28. Iconic London, $28. Tarte, $35. Ooh, Westman Atelier, $58. So $24, $24. And Isle of Paradise is a brand, it's the brand that I use for self-tanner. So I was like, okay, okay. And the... I was, I, you know, I was doing a little research on it and the, like the iconic London ones were like half the size of this. Anyways, I just thought it would be fun. It's something that like during the summertime, I like to kind of tan up a little bit with my fake tanner and, and you could, is, is there a point of this? I don't feel like there really is. It's just to kind of glow extra during the summertime. And that's what I like to do. I come out of my cave and I go on extra long walks and I go on lots of walks and I... I come out of my cave during the summertime and I'm like, oh, the sunshine. Anyways, so I like to glow in the summertime and I thought that this would be fun. So have I used it yet? No, no, this is the first time. So let's see. Okay, so we have a little, I don't wanna waste more than I need to. So there you go. 
Nice. I'm excited. I'm excited to, to just use it under my foundation and just be extra glowy, right? I talked about in my, I did a video at the beginning of the year talking about brands that I wanted to try. And one of them was Makeup by Mario. So I purchased two Makeup by Mario products in this haul because I said I wanted to try <laughs> and I could get them for 20% off. So I got one of the Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Creams. I am a huge fan of matte lipstick. So I have heard that these are extra drying and I'm okay with that <laughs> because I like a, a dry. I do like lip gloss, but this comes off and gets everywhere, which is fine, I guess. But I also like this because you can like still, I can still kiss the dog and kiss my husband and kiss my kids and, and it isn't everywhere. You know what I mean? So I'm excited to have this. This is in the shade Toasty and I'm just excited. I'm running, Bianca, you're running out of room. Toasty. Yay. It's like a kind of a terracotta -y color. I don't know. And like brown. I'm excited. I'm excited to have it. And yay. So we're going to have some things from Makeup by Mario. So let's go out of order from most expensive to least expensive, most expensive. I don't even know why I chose that order. I just had to have an order, I guess. So that's what I chose. The next thing I got is an eyeshadow palette. You're probably like, oh, you probably got the, the newest eyeshadow palette, the cool toned one. Nay, nay, nay. No. Should I have? Probably, because it's the newest, coolest thing on the scene. I like to go on the road less traveled, and I like to get the uncool things, I guess. Anyways. <laughs> no, I don't know. I just don't like cool tones. And I don't like all matte looks either. So, um, anyways, I got probably the least like liked I don't know I don't know I don't know I I'm excited for this palette though but I don't know if a lot of people like nobody was talking about this palette when I was watching other people's videos about and they were suggesting makeup by Mario palettes nobody was talking about this one it is the shimmery palette <laughs> but this I mean look at me this is on my outfit is shimmery eyeshadow the thing right now? No. I heard the other day that wearing bright eyeshadow, wearing a whole eyeshadow look is like proves that you're old and shows how old you are and shows that you're like a millennial and a Gen Xer. And I was like, I'm going to wear it even harder then <laughs> because I love eyeshadow. So I'm going to wear it even harder because I love eyeshadow and I don't care. And I, I am 38. So Anyways, this is the Master Metallics eyeshadow palette. <laughs> Anyways, it was $50, which I feel like is pricey, but also not that, like, Natasha Denona is $69, Pat McGrath is $128, but it's so, I don't know, I, why play the comparison game? I still think it's a little bit pricey. Anyways, the next thing on the list, I got something that I love getting, perfume. This is the Sephora Favorites Perfume Sampler Kit. This was $30, and most, you can, you get little trial sizes of these, little, little tiny little sprayers in there, and it comes with, in here, a certificate for a 30 mil, 10 mil? Yes, a 10 mil. So not a full size, but a full travel size uh, <laughs> of one of these sprays. So I just really love it because I, I get to try these out because I live like an hour away from a Sephora. So I don't get to go in and try out these scents and be like, okay, which one of these do I wanna buy a travel size of? Because technically I went and I looked up how much these are and in the past you could actually, they had some of these for like where if you bought this, you could get a really good deal. Like one time I got a Tom Ford one. So I think this was $25 and the Tom Ford travel space was like 50. So I ended up like doubling how much I paid and I was like, sweet. And I really ended up liking the Tom Ford one. It was, it was the Soleil, it was the summer one of Tom Ford's that I really, it's like the sunscreen smelling one. And so it was a really good deal. Nowadays, 
economy the way it is, it's not as, as great a deal. It says retail value $56. I think one of these is probably worth $56, maybe, but you have to pick the one that is $56. If that's not the one you like, eh. I went and I looked these up and most of them are about $30. I think one of them was even less than $30, but you're getting, the price of this is getting to sample all of, like, all of these out. And I feel like you can't take away that price because you're getting to sample these out and see which one you like the best. And I, summer is my favorite. <laughs> Actually, no, fall is my favorite. I love fall and summer. Summer and then fall. I love them. I love, I love summer that leads to fall. Okay, cool. And I love summer smells. They are just really, like, reminds me of being by the pool and relaxing and anyways. So... I'm excited to get to try these and get a certificate for the full travel size. Cool. Okay, the next thing that I got is a fragrance again, but a full size. This is from Fleur. This is the Vanilla Skin Hair and Body Fragrance Mist. I, you can't really see, there it is. Okay, so this came out last semi-annual sale, the, the holiday savings event, and got sold out like right away. And I was like, oh, I wanted that, lame. So then I got an email that was like, hey, it's back. The like four, four times sold out Fleur Vanilla Skin is, is back. And I was like, oh, cool. Okay, let me look into this. And only the full size was back. The smaller size was still sold out. And I was like, lame. I would, okay. I really do like, like these mists, these hair and body mists, because the Sol de Janeiro ones are my jam. And... I get only get, I don't get the full sizes of those and I love them. <laughs> I get every single one of them because I love Sol de Janeiro, but I still get the small sizes because I have so many of them. So I, I swindled myself into this one because I was afraid it was going to sell out and you really like vanilla. It'll be good. It's good for your hair and for your body. Okay. I, I talked myself into it. It's fine. Anyways, I've already sprayed it and luckily I like it. So it, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's it's a really nice vanilla smell. To me, it smells a lot like the, it's the sister brand of Huda. It's the Kaoli Vanilla 28, which you're, why, why do I need another one when I already have this one? Well, they don't smell exactly the same, but they, they can layer well. You know what I mean? Um, this one's so dark. Look at how dark that is. It looks like I haven't used any of it. I have. I promise. Man, it's hard to go through those. Anyways, um, it smells very similar. It's like a, a very rich vanilla smell. It's not a light vanilla smell. That's what I'm getting at. Anyways, it's really good. I like it. It was $35, which I feel like is pricey for a body mist. But anyways, there you go. So I got it. Necessaire. I got this body serum. This is the Necessaire Body Serum Hyaluronic Acid Body Serum. Okay, so I originally, I, this is my second bottle of this. I originally had this because I got it in a FabFitFun. And I remember when I got it being like, <sighs> it was one of my choice items and I remember not liking any of the choices. And the only choice that I was like, I guess this is something I could use was the Necessaire body serum because I was like, I have tons of body lotions and I have like face serums, but I don't have a body serum. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I could try a body serum. Little did I know that I would accidentally fall in love with this stuff. Uh, and I'm not happy about it because it's $45, $45. So I put it on my wish list from Sephora and just kind of waited to see if it would go on sale. It didn't, and I ran out of it. I used it all up. I have talked about, in, in my last like declutter video, I talked about how I don't have, I, I have hard water, I don't have soft water. And actually, somebody asked me what is hard water or what is soft water, and I actually Googled it because I didn't know. I just know that soft water, I don't itch, and hard water, I itch. Um, it has to do with minerals. It's like the minerals in your water. Soft water has like, there's a water softener that you install in your house and it, and it gets rid of some of the minerals in your water and some of the minerals can irritate your skin. Um, anyways, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Actually, some of the, the, the article I was reading said, I'm getting off on off subject tangent, but some of the minerals can be actually good for you. Like when you drink them, but anyways, but the minerals make my skin irritated. I have very dry, sensitive skin, and 
my the hard water makes my skin very very itchy and especially in the winter time the harsh utah winters i i get super super itchy so i was like okay you know what bianca why don't we wait and get this in november in in the next sale and then i was like bianca you're gonna have like three months of of cold cold because it it starts getting cold in september it's cold in october it's cold in November. And then, you know, by the time I got the order, it would be December. And I was like, you're going to be, you're going to have some cold wintry skin before you get that. So that was, that was me convincing myself that it's okay to get it now because I have really itchy, irritated skin. And this really helped it. Mixing, putting this on before my lotion really helped my skin. So anyways, I love this stuff and I'm mad at myself for loving it because it's so good. But it's so good. Anyways, 20% off. If you guys know of anywhere else to get it for a better price, let a girl know. That's all. Okay, the next thing I got was was a splurge. Okay, I'm going to say it was a splurge. Dior. <laughs> this is the Backstage Glow Face Palette. I have been wanting this. This has been on my wish list for years. For years. And from what I've heard, Dior doesn't go on sale. Like, they don't have sales on their website. And so, if you want Dior on sale, get it from Sephora. And so, I got it. I got it. Look how pretty it is. Oh, it's so pretty. And it's like two highlighters, a blush, and a bronzer, I guess. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have that. I mean, when makeup is so pretty, it, it and it's exciting to use. It's exciting, right? Right? So, that was... $48, <clears throat> but it's kind of an all-in-one product, you know, blush, bronzer, highlighter, excuses, I'm making excuses, it's fine, it's fine, we're not even to the most expensive product yet, okay, cool, <clears throat> so that was, how much was that, $48, okay, and the next most expensive thing was the $50 palette from Makeup by Mario, okay, then we have something for $51, can you guys guess what it is? <laughs> Look at this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. The jumbo size. Okay. I got one of these in a like Sephora favorite set and it was like the mini size. It was amazing. I loved it. It made my makeup last and it smelled so good and I just loved it. It was like a luxury experience and it also lasted and it just, it was great. I loved every moment of it. Okay, but it was gone really quickly. It was kind of like that that stuff that I just had, the, the, the shaky stuff, it's gone now. I put it away. Anyways, that it just goes by so quickly. I guess I use a lot, I think it's because I have dry skin and so I overuse setting spray. Anyways. <laughs> So I used it up really quickly. And so I was like, ah, I was looking at on Sephora, they, they show you how much it is like per ounce and the mini size may be the least expensive, but it's the most expensive per ounce. And then the full size is less expensive per ounce via the, you know, the mini, but it's still more expensive than the jumbo size. The jumbo size is the best value. Okay. I'm talking to my, I'm, I'm convincing myself of things. Anyways, <laughs> jumbo sauce. This will last me. This will last me forever. It is 6.7 ounces, 200 milliliters, $50. And I'm excited to have every second of that $50. Thank you. Anyways, ridiculous. Cool. Okay, the most expensive thing in this whole entire haul is another thing for my skin. It is the $52, the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Body Firmeza Oil. I should have looked up how to say that. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. Everything from Sol de Janeiro, it's Brazilian, and so they have a Brazilian accent, and I usually look up how to say things, but I didn't. I have been wanting this oil. I love to, okay, I was telling you guys I have really, really dry sensitive skin. So I, I love to have that serum and I also love to have an oil and a lotion. I have dry sensitive skin <laughs> and this is supposed to also tighten and it also smells like the boom boom cream. It's just, 
it's just going to be an amazing product. So I have the Boom Boom Cream as a lotion. So also to have the oil, so they go together. The smell goes together. So the layering of the smells, I'm just going to smell amazing. Anyways, I'm excited to have it. Was it expensive? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Okay, the pump comes separately. But this better last. Ooh, it's a really, really luxurious, like, glass container. So, okay. 100 milliliters, 3.4 ounces. I'm excited to have that. All right, there it is. There is my Sephora and Ulta haul. Whew. Did I go a little crazy? Yes. Did having a year of no buy maybe channel me to go a little crazy? Yes. Yes, it did. But you know what? Treat yourself sometimes. All right. Well, if you guys like this video, like this video, if you guys want to subscribe to my channel, that would mean the, so much to me. Help me get to a thousand subscribers. That would be awesome. And if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's Bianca Scogan Beauty. And click the bell if you want to be notified of my future videos. And most importantly, be nice to yourself because you're amazing. Have a great day. Bye.